This video will show you how to format your paper in MLA style. For MLA style, you need one inch margins, double spacing throughout your paper, your last name and the page number in the top right corner, a heading with your name, your professor's name, the class number, and the date in the top left corner of the first page, a title that's centered between the heading and the beginning of your paper, and finally, your list of works cited needs to be alphabetized and the entries need to have what's called hanging indentation, which means that every line except the first line in each entry should be indented by half an inch. To demonstrate, I'm going to pull up this paper which hasn't yet been formatted. I'm using Word 2010, but if you have Word 2007, it's almost identical. We'll start with margins. You need one inch margins, and luckily this is the default setting. If you want to be sure, you can go to Page Layout, click Margins, and you can see that all the margins are set to one inch. So now let's talk about spacing. Spacing means the amount of white space between the lines of text. And if you go back to the Home tab, you can use this button to adjust the spacing. For MLA style, you want your paper to be double spaced. But before I show you that, you might have noticed that Word sometimes puts an extra space between your paragraphs. But you don't want that space there. So to get rid of it, first highlight your text. A quick way to highlight everything in your document is to press Control A on your keyboard. Now click the spacing button and choose Remove Space After Paragraph. To turn off that extra space feature permanently, you can go back to the spacing button choose line spacing options. Make sure that under spacing before and after are both set to zero and then just click set as default. Okay getting back to our document the text is still highlighted and now we need to double space it. So to do that I'm just going to click the spacing button again and choose two. So that takes care of spacing and now I'll show you how to put your name and the page number in the top right corner. First go to the insert tab and choose page number. Go to top of page and you want plain number three. Type your last name and add a space. And now this formatting has been applied to all of your pages. So moving on to the heading and title. For the heading you need to type your name, your professor's name, your course number and the date in the top left corner of the first page in that order. These elements should be double spaced. And next, type your title. The title should be centered and it should also be double spaced like the rest of your paper, with no additional spaces between the heading and the title or the title and the paper. To center the title, highlight it and then click this button. So now we're ready to move on to our list of works cited. Your list of works cited is where you put the full citations for all of the sources that you cited or referred to in your paper. Notice that the word works is plural. Works is just another name for sources like books, articles, websites, or films, as in a work of art or a work of literature. This list needs to be alphabetized, double spaced, and the entries need to have hanging indentation, which again means that for each entry, every line other than the first line needs to be indented by half an inch. So first we need to make sure that we're at the top of a new page and we'll center the words work cited. Okay, now let's alphabetize our list. You can do this by highlighting the text that you need to alphabetize and then clicking this A and Z button up here. You want to sort by paragraphs, so just click OK. All right, so let's make sure everything turned out OK. Looks good. The list is already double spaced, so now I just need to fix my indentation. So to do that, I'm going to highlight the text I need to modify. Then I'm going to look for the paragraph section of the Home tab. Click on this little arrow in the bottom right corner. And under Indentation, Special, choose Hanging. Make sure it's set to 0.5 inches and then click OK. 
So you can see that Microsoft Word has modified the indentation for all of our entries. That's it. So congratulations, your paper is now formatted in MLA style.